Hello everyone, you know who it is. I'm Wolfie, and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of the After Effects text animator. So, the After Effects text animator is really capable. You can, it's not just for text, you can also use things like symbols and make animations like these. Or you can just make text animations. There's loads of things you can do with a text animator, it's just all about what you want to do. So, I'm in my composition tutorial. So I'm gonna just make some text, I'm gonna just make this a uh, motion, and I'm going to change the font to be Montserrat Bold, because I like this font, and I'm going to scale it up, so you can change the size of this instead, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our text, I am going to open up the text, so this is it's quite a complex appearing thing, like you may look at this and think it's the most complex thing you've ever seen, you might think, oh god, I'm not going to do this. But you'd be surprised, the After Effects text animating features are really easy. So you've obviously got the um, normal features, such as tracking, where you can keyframe this. So if I, for example, keyframe that there, and then that there, as you can see, we can make it wider. Except the real animation comes in when we introduce the character value. So, <clears throat> at first, this may seem like a completely stupid thing, it's just doing this, and you can use that if you want to, however, that's not what we're going to be doing, because when we open up the range selector, this is where we can adjust things like the end, see, as you can see, it goes along the letters, and that is where you can have some real fun stuff, so, let's go into animate, let's go into property, and you can animate anything, you can animate the skew, the opacity, scale, etc, etc, et even the fill colour and stuff works here. Every single thing apart from these two on the bottom and maybe the blur. No, blur does work. All of these work apart from these two since these are range selectors. So, in this case I'm going to add position and I'm going to make the position go up so the idea is it could just go sc scrolling down from the top. So as you can see, if I were to keyframe that, I can also use an offset. So I'm just going to make. I'm going to go top to bottom with this. That's the idea. So I'm going to keyframe it and zero. So I'm going to go into the graph editor and I'm just going to make it simple easing. Nothing too much. Yeah, that works. Okay, so. The only issue you may have noticed is it goes one by one and it doesn't look very smooth. But that's okay because in advanced we can change things like the smoothness so instead I could have it just teleport down if that's what you're into or make it less smooth and then we can add easing which means that it will have a way of going so yeah look at that. Now they kind of like fall down as if it's got gravity. And you can, you can mess around with the easing situation, like if I put random numbers here, that kind of like makes it fall down. Um, and then, since they're going one by one, this is where we get to adjust the shape. So ramp up, for example, that doesn't work very well. So with ramp down, you can see it just goes down like this, except the only issue is it starts midway through the animation, but that's no problem at all, because we can also put that to 100. And keyframe both of these things, which means it will go all the way. Except I'm dumb and stupid, and that's not how you do it. Okay, so since the issue is that it goes midway, this is when we have to use the offset. <clears throat> so if you're going to have it where there's multiple, you'll have to use offset in this case, so keyframe the offset, two seconds, and then I'll just put it to zero. So with that, we get that. You don't usually have to ease anything like the offset, I mean this can go on its own, it still looks pretty good. And that's what you can do with position, but there's so much you can do with the After Effects text animator. The, the best thing to do is experiment. Random makes it go with, so that the letters go in random orientation, so they just go randomly on their own will. You can also change the seed, so you can have it go down differently. I mean, if you want to, you could also keyframe the seed, but that probably wouldn't look very good. Whoa. 
I mean, if you want to make some glitchy intro, then yeah, you can keyframe around and seed. So let's add another property. In this case, I think I'm going to go with scale. So once again, it's as easy as just changing that. So basically, the way that you've got to remember it is it will go to the original property of 100 scale, 0 on the position. Any adjustments you make here is where it starts from. So if I have it big, it'll go back to small. Or if I have it like 0, it'll scale up. So yeah, you get that. And I think I'm going to add a bit of opacity to this. Zero, and there we go. We've got an opacity, and maybe I'll add some blur. There we go. So that is our text animation. You can do all sorts of experimenting here. If you want to have it have a fill color in, then easy enough. Fill color, um, RGB, I think it is, that I would need to use. I didn't select. Oh yeah, I should probably remind you, when you want to add something specifically to the animator, you need to select the animator itself, or it won't do anything. As you can see now, it's below these things that we've added now. <coughs> so, keep that in mind. So now, the fill color comes in from red. And there we go, it goes red to white. And then I can obviously change the color to, I don't know, green, because that's my channel color. <coughs> and there we go. It's as easy as that. And of course, you can keep... You can add another animator, and then animate the tracking amount, for example. So let's get tracking, and... So now it's going to go in, and then we're just going to have a bit of tracking here. How about that? So, just ease that there, and ease that there, and boom. After Effects Text Animator is really cool. Now, things like Textify, which I've got over here on the bottom left, can do the exact same thing, but generate it for you. So that means you don't have to do the work, but the thing about these scripts is they cost money. So things like Text Exploder and Textify, they do cost money, so you've got to keep that in mind. But to be honest, I don't even think I need to use Textify. When you've learnt the animator and After Effects, you realise it's easy. Textify isn't even doing that much, although I will say Textify is a well-built script. You know? Um, but yeah, it's completely up to you in your imagination for whatever you want to do here. That was really weird. Let me, uh, yeah, look at that. That is kind of cool, actually. And yeah, as you can see on screen, you can also do all sorts of things with this using symbols, for example. I'm going to actually <coughs> show you how to make one of them. So I'm going to get a bunch of dots, and I'm going to space these dots out and increase their size. And they're just going to go in a wavy up and down motion. That's the idea. So once again, animate, character value, range selector, and then we add a property to it. And once again, position. I'm going to make this go lower down because it's going to have to go up and down. So animator and move that position up there. I'm not going to make this exact, but you can make this exact if you know what you're doing. So yeah, now if I go into the range selector and change the offset. So now we have just this, except that isn't what we're trying to do. We're trying to go for a wavy motion, so we need to add easing and the ramp. I think in this case it's probably better if I use smooth so it like bounces up. Boing. Individually. And once again, add some easing. Let's see how that looks with the easing. Actually, I need to keyframe the offset. Whoosh. Make 
some adjustments to that, and there we go. Where you have this, you can probably adjust it easing a little bit here. Yeah, there you go, you got a little wave. So, you know, even cool shape animations can be made. And if you add a rotation, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you could even use rotation here to make them, like, move around. On the anchor point. But, you know, it's totally on you what you want to do. Again, this is a very basic thing of what you can do with shapes. The stuff you're seeing on screen is obviously possible. It's up to whatever your imagination can bring you and what you can do with the animator and After Effects. That was all for this little tutorial. Thank you for watching.